Hello everyone, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So in this video, I'll show you how to create template in WhatsApp Cloud API. So Meta recently launched the WhatsApp Cloud API using which we can send WhatsApp messages. And to send WhatsApp messages via Cloud API, we have to create some template messages first. So in this video, we will learn how we can create template messages and what are the features these template messages offers to us using Cloud API. So let's begin with the process. So this is the app dashboard page of my Cloud API account. Now I am assuming that you have already created your WhatsApp Cloud API account and generated the permanent access token. And if not, don't worry, we have a dedicated video on the complete process and link to these videos will be in the description box below. So you can refer to those videos to create your Cloud API account and generate the permanent access token. And after this process, you will reach on this app dashboard page. And at this page, you can see all the details required for making the connection with Pavli Connect, the access token, the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. And after making the connection, here in step 2, it says send message with the API. And in the last in this line, you can see there is a hyperlink over here. Just click on it and it will redirect us to the message template page of our Cloud API account. At this very page, you can see all the template messages which we have created inside our Cloud API account. So these are the template messages which I have already created. Now let's begin how we can create a new template. For that, on the right side, you can see a create message template button. Just click on this. And after that, it asks us some details regarding our template, like the category, the name and language. So in category, we have to select a category in which our template message falls. Is it a transactional message? Is it a marketing message? Or is it a one-time password? So you have to select one category for your message. For example, I'll select marketing because I'll be sending some kind of, for example, birthday wish message to my employees or my clients. So after selecting marketing, our basically our category of the message, it asks us for the name. So here in name, we have to give this template message a name. For example, I'll name it as birthday wishes. So one thing which we have to notice while writing the name of our template is it doesn't take the space button. It doesn't take the space value. We have to add an underscore to add the spaces between two words. So if I add space over here, it will automatically add an underscore over here. So keep my, this in mind while creating the name for your template. So birthday underscore wishes. This is the name of my template. And after giving the name, we have to choose the language in which we are creating this template message. For example, I will select English US. But if you want, you have multiple options in which you can create the message templates for your WhatsApp Cloud API. So you can select any language according to your choice, but make sure this is the very same language in which you are creating your message template. And after selecting the language, we have to click on continue. Now after clicking on continue, here it comes the actual page where we will be drafting the template message. And at this very page, here we can see the first option is header. So in this header option, basically we can add some header files or some header text in a WhatsApp message as well. So by default, it is selected none. It is an optional field. You don't have to necessarily add a header in your WhatsApp message. So by default, it is none. And when we click on this drop down, we can see text and media two options to add a, as a header. First, we will select text. And after selecting text, we can have a field over here to add a text. So I'll exam for example, I'll add happy birthday so as you can see i have added some text as in the header option and automatically a header text can be seen here in the preview message section so in this way you can add some header text in your whatsapp messages according to your choice and you can also add one variable over here so you must be thinking what are these variables so for example after happy birthday i want to mention the name of the person to whom i am sending message but every time the name of the person will keep changing so the name of the person is a dynamic field a variable which will be keep changing so by clicking on this add variable button we can see that a number has been added inside double curly braces. This is basically a variable, a body field, or sh shall we say a dynamic field. So the text in place of this dynamic field can be changed according to a requirement for every sending message. Now, how we can add those texts over here? We have to see that in Pavli Connect, but in this way, you can add some dynamic fields inside your template message as well. 
So in this way, we have learned that how we can add text as a header. But after text, we can also add some media file. So we will select media and here we can see three options, image, video and document. If we want, we can send image as a header attachment, header file. We can also send video as a header file and we can also send document as a header file with our WhatsApp message. For example, in this video, we are creating a template for birthday wishes. So I want to send a happy birthday image with my WhatsApp message. So I'll select the image option. And after the header, it comes the body section. Now body section is the actual section where we will be drafting the actual WhatsApp message. So for example, I want my message to start as happy birthday. And as I told you, after happy birthday, I want to add some variable, some dynamic text over here because after happy birthday, it comes the name of the person to whom we are sending wishes on WhatsApp. So for that, you can see a add variable button over here. Just click on that and a variable will be automatically added in this field. Then I will be adding the actual WhatsApp message, which I will be sending. For example, I have already copied the message. So this is the kind of message which I'm willing to send. So this message says, as we can see in preview option, here's the image which we will be adding. Then this says happy birthday and here it comes the name of the person. I hope your birthday is full of sunshine and rainbows and love and laughter. Sending many good wishes to you on your special day. Regards. And you can see here is another body field, another variable. So guys, you can add multiple variables, multiple body fields in your body of the message. So after regards, I want to add the name of my team. But for example, multiple teams are using the same template message in my organization. So the need, the field for the name of the team is also dynamic over here. So we will, can replace the text of this uh, body field to variable to over here to any text which we want inside Pabli Connect. So in this way, we have drafted the actual body of the text as well. Then after the body, it comes the footer option. We can also add some footer in our WhatsApp message, which we are sending. For example, let me add some text over here via cloud API. So here I have added a footer text and the same footer text can be seen, uh, can be seen inside this preview message, message section as well via cloud API. So in this way, you can add any footer text according to your choice if you want. And this field is also an optional field. So if you don't want to add a, any footer text to your WhatsApp message, just keep this field as blank. Then after the footer, at last it comes the button. So most of you have noticed that some marketing or promotional messages when you receive on WhatsApp, sometimes it has a button to it, which may, which is, can be a call button or a website redirect button. By clicking on that button, you may get, uh, you may be calling the person who sent you the message, or you may be redirect to a website in this way we can add the similar button in our message as well. So by default, it is selected none, but in the drop down, we have two options: call to action and quick reply. We select call to action and here in call to action, the type of the action, there are two types of different action available over here, call phone number or visit website. So we will select call phone number and the button text I will add as call me. And let me add a phone number over here. So in this way, I have added the text of the button, the type of the button and the phone number on which the phone call will be made. And you can see in the preview message, a call me button is automatically added to a WhatsApp message. So the whatever the text or the button you will be adding in your template message, same details or same button will also be added to the message which we will be sending to a user. Now after a call phone number option or call phone number type of action, we can we will select visit website. So in this way, we can add also add a website link. So in call phone number option, when someone clicks on this button, we will, the user will be making a call on your number, which you will be adding. And in visit website button, whenever a person will call on uh, click on this website, the person will be redirect to that very same website, which we will be entering over here. So I'll change the text of this button. For example, visit website. And there is, there are two type of URLs, which can be add, which we can add. There can be a static URL or a dynamic URL. For example, let me add a URL over here. So this is the URL on which I want the person to redirect on clicking on this button. So this is a static URL, which means this URL will be the same for every sending message for everyone, which I, to whom I am sending the message, the URL will be the same. But 
if you want to change the url if you want to send different url for every sending message to every person you can change that url type from here from static to dynamic so in this way you can add the dynamic text in front of your url as an suffix of your url to send the message so we have we have to enter the website url and it is dynamic so body field a variable is been added to our very same website on this i button we can read that adding a variable create a personalized link for the customer to view their info only one variable can be added to the url or to the end of the url so the dynamic url type will add a variable to our existing url so that we can add some extension to that url as well to make it dynamic and after the call to action type button we have quick reply button just select it and this quick reply button uh, let me give this name a reply uh, button a text or name uh, reply now for example i'll add as reply now and in this way a reply now button will be sent or a quick reply button will be added to a whatsapp template message and not just this we can add multiple button in quick reply as well like i will click on add button and i will name another button as for example reply later and you will see that another button will be added to this message so in this way you can add multiple buttons in the quick reply section in this button field so if you want to add some buttons then it's okay if you don't want to add button just click none, select none so i don't want to add any button in this message which we are creating so i'll select none so this is a template message which we want to send we have added the header image which we want to send we have actually draft the body of the messages with the variables and also added a footer for example now after that after creating the template we have to click on add sample and in this add sample page we have to actually enter the details the file type or the text which we will be adding in place of this variable so we have to give some sample text some sample details regarding the the type of text or the media which we will be sending via on whatsapp in place of this variable so first is the header section where we wanted to send a image so we have to select an or an upload the image which we are willing to send so we'll just click on this field go to desktop and i have a image over here just a second okay sorry in downloads this is the image which i wanted to send so this is the birthday image which i want to send now this is just a sample data guys you can change this this data which we have added are dynamic data these are dynamic fields the image header image body text and variables are dynamic fields the data which we are entering in these uh, in these field can be changed inside our public and web workflow we can make this field dynamic but we just have to add some sample data so after uploading a header sample header image it is in the body section we have added two variables first one is the name of the customer and second one is the uh, name of the team for example so in the enter content for variable one i'll enter a dummy name of a customer for example akash singh and in uh, enter content for two uh, for example i'll name a dummy name of the team as for example video video team video team is sending the message okay so we have added some sample data and this is a necessary step guys don't skip this step if you are adding variables or dynamic tags in your template message we have to upload some sample data or sample details or update the sample text in places of this variable so as i updated the sample data the message is completed you can see in preview message section and after adding all the sample data all the sample content just click on done now after this the process of creating a template and adding sample data is complete now we can see the actual whatsapp message which we will be sending in the preview section now as you see that this is the correct message which you want to send just click on submit button and it is asking us for the confirmation just click on confirm now guys after confirming this we have successfully submitted this template for approval to meta so after clicking on the submit button this template is sent to meta for the uh, approval and once this template gets approved we can use this very same template message to send whatsapp messages to our users so guys you can see in this message template page that birthday underscore wishes this is the very same template which we have created just now and then you can see that when you hover over here you can see this is this template is basically pending for review so by default it may take from one hour to 48 hours to get your 
your template approved but on an average with my own experience i can tell you that the template you usually get approved within two to four hours and then after the approval we can send the messages so not just one template guys by clicking on create message template button you can create multiple templates inside your cloud api account according to your requirement and guys you can see all those templates on this message template page so guys this is the complete process on how you can create your template message inside whatsapp cloud api and use it to send messages to your user so that's it for today's video guys thank you if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli connects pricing at this link so if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.